Hey, friend, Chris here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to give you a couple of tricks that you can use if you're running into problems using Flex Pitch for things like vocal pitch correction. Now, Flex Pitch is a tool in Logic Pro that allows you to edit the notes of different pitches of a monophonic instrument, which is one instrument singing or playing one note at a time. And you can correct these notes, you know, note by note, and you can adjust the vibrato and do all sorts of stuff. But sometimes flex pitch can result in some artifacts. You know, maybe it misread something and you're starting to hear some garbled noise. Maybe the analysis of the notes just read as one single note and not with all the variations. Or maybe there's no notes displayed at all. So I want to show you a couple of tricks that you can use to correct flex pitch's behavior because I don't want you to be deterred from using it. It's awesome. I use it all the time. Just sometimes you got to help it along. So I want to show you that today. Now, Flex Pitch has been with us since the original release of Logic Pro 10 back in 2013. But if we're being honest with ourselves, and I'm going to be honest with you, the original version of Flex Pitch was pretty much unusable. It had a lot of artifacts, a lot of unexpected behavior. You just couldn't really rely on it. But since 2013, the algorithm, the detection has been greatly improved upon. And in fact, with the release of 10.7 last year, the detection algorithm for Flex Pitch has been updated using machine learning. So the results are way better. Even still, there are sometimes some artifacts that pop up some unexpected behaviors, and that's what I want to show you today, how you can fix those. I do want to preface that this is not going to be a cure-all for every single version of Logic Pro since 10.0. If you're on 10.2, I'm not sure if this is going to work for you. 10.4, I don't know. I'm on 10.7.2, the most recent version at the time of this filming, but it's been working great for me. So I want to show you some of these special cases and how you can fix them. Now, I have a vocal here from an album that I've been mixing. And if we take a look at this flex pitch analysis, we can see that the first couple lines are read, you know, appropriately where the notes probably were. But then we get into some weird behavior where the rest of the region, it's just all read as one note. And I can tell you for a fact, it's not all one note. And in fact, if we take a listen to this vocal, I'm not going to play a whole lot of the vocals, but I want you to hear some of the sort of artifacty behavior. Take a listen. Einer denkt der andere meint der dritte faucht der vierte schreit. So right at the end there, there's a bit of an artifacty thing going on. Vierte schreit. Right. And if you want to double check, number one, if this artifact is in the actual audio and not just in the flex pitch analysis, or if you want to double check your flex pitch edits, you can just go right up here to the flex pitch button and turn off flex for this track. So now we can listen to just the vocal without any sort of flex pitch analysis. Der dritte faucht der vierte schreit. Okay. Der dritte faucht der vierte schreit. Okay, so maybe it's in the audio itself. There's a lot of consonant behavior in this particular vocal, which is in German. I should mention that. But still, we have this analysis that makes no sense. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go into the editor for the track. You can do this a number of ways. You could just double click on the region itself, or you can use key command E, or you can go right up here to the scissors icon in the control bar to pop open the track editor. Now, at the moment, I'm in flex view, and you know this because the little audio region that's twisted around is enabled, and we can turn that on and off. And if we go into the editor, you may have to turn on flex view for that editor as well by clicking on the similar button in the audio track editor. But cool. Okay. So we have our analyzed region. We have all of this screwed up data here. The way we're going to fix this is we're going to go to edit in the audio track editor and go down to analyze audio for flex editing. At the moment, we've done no sort of correction whatsoever because clearly things are not right. So this is a ripe time to have Logic re-detect the audio and try to better place all of the pitch data. So we're going to take a minute, let Logic analyze the transients, and we'll see if this has been improved upon. Okay, so the notes have disappeared from our view. Let's see if they're somewhere else in this region. So we're going to scroll up and take a look. All right, so now all of our notes have been analyzed and placed appropriately in relation to all of the rest of the vocal performance. And if we take a look at the region as a whole, you know, let's just kind of scan it real quick. Yeah, everything's looking like it should be when analyzed appropriately. 
Cool. And let's even take a listen to that one section to see if there's been an improvement. Einer denkt der andere meint, der dritte faucht, der vierte schreit. Awesome. So now we're in a better place. We can begin pitch correcting our vocal. Now I have another example from a different song from the same album. If we take a listen to this first section here, there's some kind of garbled artifacty stuff. Take a listen. Ich bin ein Kind der Einsamkeit, darum sage ich vielen Dank für die Trennung. Okay, so that's unusable to us. That There's no way we can get away with that sort of artifacty mess. Now, the situation here is, is, luckily, this is at the very beginning of this performance. But maybe you're working on a vocal and you're pitch correcting and you get about three quarters of the way through. And that's where the artifacts are living. So if we go into the editor and go to edit and go down to analyze audio for flex editing, what's going to happen is Logic is going to reanalyze everything across the region and all of your pitch correction edits will be basically null and void. Everything will be reanalyzed and placed at the uncorrected pitch value. That's not really helpful. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to split up the region set it to a different track so we can analyze just that one garbled section. You can do this a number of ways. You could select the region and use the playhead and the key command, command T, to split the region. Or you could use the marquee tool. I would turn off flex view so that you could use your mouse tool here, the marquee, and make that selection. Click to split the region. And then I would drag it down to the empty section below to create a new track of just that region. And if we re-enable FlexView, there we have it. Okay, so let's get rid of or mute the original version. Let's go into here and we can see that there's been some transposition. Let's now turn on Flex Pitch. Cool. And if we go to edit, down to analyze audio for flex editing, we're going to reanalyze just this one kind of screwed up region. Here we go. All right, so there has been a reanalysis, but some of the notes are missing, right? Like, what happened to this, 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 this? Like, what, what happened there? Okay, let's try reanalyzing again. If this doesn't do it, we got another way of going about it. Check it out. So let's go to Edit, Analyze Audio for Flex Editing, and here we go again. Well, we can see that everything related to this first note, which is kind of like this climb up, everything is there, perfect, and all the other notes are laid across. Perfect. Let's take a listen to just this region and see if all of that garbled mess has been fixed. Ich bin ein kind der Einsamkeit, darum sage ich vielen Dank für die Trennung. Now let's turn off Flex for this region, just to double check. Ich bin ein kind der Einsamkeit, darum sage ich vielen Dank für die Trennung. Now, I'm not entirely sure. There's kind of like a weird artifact in that ramping up. Maybe it's a bad comping of the vocals or, you know, maybe... There wasn't enough care in the way that they were comped. I'm not sure. So in this case, just to be safe, because I just don't know if flex pitch is still kind of being weird, I'm going to bounce this region in place. I'm going to use control B to bring up the bounce dialog. But of course, you could go to file, go down to bounce region in place. And I'm going to bypass any effects. And all I care about is just this region just bounced again. What we've done is we've created a new audio file of this one section. And if we go over here, let's re-enable flex, flex pitch for this region. And we can see the analysis went very quickly. Let's take a listen. Ich bin ein kind der Einsamkeit, darum sage ich vielen Dank für die Trennung. Okay, so it must be just in the audio there. Ich bin this means that it has nothing to do with flex pitch. It was working A-OK -okay on the first original version, but it's worth a try, especially if you're having still artifacts popping up or weird behavior, sometimes just bouncing a new region, creating a new audio file, brand new, will solve a lot of those problems. In this case, I need to go back to the take folder with all of the vocal takes and find a better take for that first section. Or maybe that ramping up is actually made up of two or three different takes. It's not a single take, it's a couple takes, and there's just a couple of weird edits in that that I need to go back and take a look at. These three tips can save you a lot of troubles if you're running into problems with flex pitch. And one other one, a bonus one, you don't have to pitch correct everything in a vocal. You know, you don't have to. And if the problem word is just like that or that, just split that region up and analyze just that region. So in this case, if we turn on flex 
And it's really just this section here that we need to fix. It's not this, it's not that. Select the regions that don't need fixing and go to the region inspector and turn flex and follow off. And then you can just correct the pitch for the problem area. And that will result in more natural sounding vocals or bass or whatever it is that you are pitch correcting. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, YLogicProRules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.